Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Alrighty guys, so today I have a really fun video for you guys. I am going to be doing savings challenges. Very excited about that. So I've got some extra money left over from July that has rolled into the beginning of August and I'm going to get some more savings challenges done. So I'm super excited about that. So I've got a stack of cash here and let's count it up and see what we have. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 94, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 505, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3. So 543 is what we have. So let's pop this over here into our little cash tray. And I do have some IOUs set right here just in case we end up needing an IOU or two, but I am hoping to be able to repay back all of the IOUs that I have in my binders up until this point, which would be great. So let's start out with this one right here since it's probably one of my faves, but also because I know there's some IOUs in here that we need to get to. So we've got our savings challenge binder here and I'm gonna open this up. And the first one right off the bat is our Larry box. And so this one is from Hands and Bands. All of these come from different um, people on Etsy, different YouTubers as well. And so I have anything that you guys see in my videos or any savings challenge that you see and you guys might like is linked in my description below as well as my Etsy shop if you guys are interested and would like to check it out. Um, so don't forget to take a look at that description if you guys are interested. But we will start with Larry Bucks. So I'm hoping that we can complete this one today. Oops, I pulled all the cash out. I always do that. So let's stuff this back in here. Perfect. So as far as Larry Bucks goes, it looks like we've got a 24 and a 23 left. So if we take care of both of those today, we can complete at least this side. That will get us over to this one and we will have 200. And I did say that once I complete one side for $200, I would consider this one complete. So let's go ahead and do the 24 and the 23. And I do have my handy calculator right here just in case I need it. Uh, but that would be 47. So why don't we do that? All right. So last couple of stickers going on this side. Super cute little Larry in pink right on the 24. And then we've got green Larry on the 23 right there. And so now we need to get 47. So 20, 40. 45, oh, I didn't separate out my ones. <laughs> and 46, 47. So we don't have very many ones, so I'm hoping that maybe we can do some exchanging as we go, um, but I think I bill swapped or cash condensed pretty recently, so I'm not sure. We got 20, 40, 45, 46, 47 dollars going into Larry, and now we should be able to count all of this money and it should add up to the $200. Oh, but there's some twos in there. Oh, this is gonna throw me. Maybe I'll pull out some of these twos if we need them. All right, so let's see what we have here. Get my money right. So we've got 51, 20, 40, 60, 80. 85, 85 plus, there's no way I'm adding all these twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 22. Why don't we just swap these out first? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So we'll put those here, put the 20, take a 20. All right, and that'll make things easier. And then we've got two, three, four, five. So we'll put the five down as well. So two, three, four, five, and take a five. And then that'll make things a lot easier. So when we count this up again, we should have 200. So we've got 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 205, 210. 
That doesn't make sense. So we got 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 5, 10. So we have 210. So either I did something wrong or we just have extra money in this. So I just added up all of these little Larry bucks and I guess I was just assuming that half of 400 is 200. So it would be 200 on this side and 200 on this side, but it's not, it's actually 210 on this side. So 210 is correct. And this side of Larry is complete. And so I will flip it over so that we can start working on this other side. Um, but again, I will consider this complete. And so I'll try to remember that I want to reallocate this money, hopefully soon. But that is going to be it for Larry Buck. So let's go on to Saveopoly and see what we can do here. I'm hoping that we can get really close to completing this one as well. Um, but it just depends on the roll of the dice. So let's grab our little dice out. And this one is from Savvy Budgets. Um, alrighty, and it came with this free little dice here. And so let's see, the last place we left off, it looks like was over here on the 25 with a purple marker. So I grabbed out the purple marker and then let's start here and we'll keep going around. All right, so we got two, so one, two, and that is $9. All right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll put $9 right there, and then we'll roll again. So we got three, so one, two, three, and we got a 20. Don't forget to mark it off. Perfect, and then let's roll again. Ooh, rolled right away for me, but it's a two. So we got one, two, which means I actually landed on go. And last time I landed on go, I gave myself $2. But I think this time I'm going to give myself 20 for landing on go. Because, I mean, I can't give myself $200. But um, let's roll again and see what else we get. So I got a three. So one, two, three. And it looks like I got a 25. So we'll go 20 five and then I'm gonna roll one last time and see what we get oh and my desk is slanted so it always wants to roll right towards me but we got a four so one skipping over all these two three four so that's a ten so we'll drop a ten there as well and then let's see how much money we're giving to Saveopoly Alrighty, so Saveopoly this time is getting 20, 40, 60, 75, 80, 82, 84. So 84 dollars going into Saveopoly. And let's get that out. Perfect. And then this one I don't count. I just let it collect. And I'll drop the board right down in. And that is gonna do it for Saveopoly. So we got a little bit closer to completing it, but it looks like there's still one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six from what I can see. All right, so let's move on to this mystery scratch off. And this mystery scratch off comes from Sam's Crafts and Customs. And I have just been slowly working my way. I can't find my scratch off tool. Oh, there it is. So I've just slowly been working my way in order. So let's scratch this one right here. All right, so that one is a five. Oh, you know what I have? Guys, I have this little mini vacuum. Should I try it? It'll be my first time trying this little kitty vacuum. My wife put a, put a battery in it, so it should work. Cute. I just like brushed it all over there. It's hard to tell if it works, but I think it did. Hold on. Yeah, it totally works. All right, it totally works. So, okay, let me not forget to put my $5 down. So we did this five and then I do wanna keep going. So I'll scratch another. So let's go right over here. And that one's a 15. So I'm gonna put a 20 down and take the five back. So we've got our five and 15 for 20 right there. And let's scratch another. 50, oh my gosh. 
I was not expecting that, but that's all right. We've got it. So 20, 40, and 50. And I think I'm going to stop there for this one because I was not expecting that 50, but that's all right. All right, so I scratched off all of the surface. So now I'm going to try to vacuum it up with this little kitty. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it totally works. I love it. Now I don't have scratch off dust all over my desk. All right, perfect. So that means in mystery scratch off challenge, we're putting 20, 40, 60, 70 dollars, which is great. Getting somewhere on that one as well, which is so exciting. And I don't know if I will unstuff and allocate Larry right away or if I will wait until I have a few more completed. That way I can reallocate a few savings challenges at once. Um, still not sure about that yet, but let's keep going. So this brings us to our dice challenges by Budget with Ira. And this first one here is a save 330. And I'll just grab out all the dice while I'm in here. So the save 330 is with this little pink dice here and you can roll up to nine, I believe. Yes. All right, so let's give this a roll and see what we get. A zero. Does a zero mean 10? Maybe you can roll up to 10. That kind of would make sense. Yep, zero means 10. <laughs> All right. So let me mark off a 10. And it looks like, oops, I just opened that one. It looks like after this, I only have one more 10. So let's pull the 10, but why don't we roll again one more time just to see what we get for this one. So here we go again. And I got a two, which is fine. I'll just pop one of these twos right in as well and mark off a two. And guys, I kind of feel, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna do this one one more time and then I'm gonna stop because I know I have a $90 IOU in the save 2K, but I do wanna roll this one one more time. So let's give it a go. All right, so this time we got a six and we will do five, six. So I don't wanna forget to mark off my six. Oh, sorry if you guys can hear my dog. She's hanging out in here with me. So six right there, just trying to find a comfortable spot, I think. So 15, 16, 17, 18, so 10, 15, 17, $18 going into the save 330 today, which is awesome. And that brings us to the save 1050, and that is with this 20 sided dice. So let's give this one a roll and see what we get. We got a 20, wait, do we even have a 20 left? Oh yeah, we've got plenty of 20s left. So $20 is perfect. I've got a nice 20 for the save 1050. And that is all set. Perfect. All right, guys. So now, as you can see, staring us right in the face is this $90 IOU. So let's take care of that. So we got 20, 40, 60, 80 and 90s. So now we're getting kind of low on our 20s here. All right, no worries. So let's put this $90 in, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 into the 2K. And then we will roll this one again and see what we get. And hopefully we don't get another 90, but there's no guarantees with this one. So let's see what we get. We got a 20. All right, that's good. So we'll do another 20 down in, and then I already marked off the 90. Um, I remember doing that, and I remember telling myself, don't forget, you already marked off the 90. But let's not forget to mark off the 20 that we just did, and that is right there. All right, so we can put this percentile dice away, and that brings us to wild card. So this is the wild card from Budget with Ira as well, and these are already mixed up in an order that I don't know. Um, so what I've been doing is just drawing a card right off the top. So let's grab a card. Alrighty, so we have a three. That's pretty easy. I'm curious, like I kind of want to count how many I have left, but I don't want to see. Um, I don't know. There's like a few left. I'm wondering, should I pull another one? No, I kind of want this one to last. These are so super cute. 
I definitely don't want to rush this one. So we'll just do the $3 to three down into wild card. And I take the cards that are already completed and pop them in the back right there. And I don't even really remember which ones I've gotten. So, but I think I've got some big ones left in there. So we'll get to them when we get to them. But that is it for this savings challenge binder. So let's take a look at what else we have. All right, so the next binder that I have here is my scratch off binder. And I know we started with this one um, last week, but we ended up running out of money and having a lot of IOUs. So right off the bat, we have a $10 IOU in the mystery scratch cards. And so let's do a $10 down in just to make that one be all set just to pay off that IOU. Um, and then these are the mystery scratch cars and I don't know if I want to scratch one today. I think I want to wait on this one just because these could potentially go up to $50 and I just want to make sure that we get to some other challenges. Um, but these are my mystery scratch off cards. If you guys are interested, they are available in my Etsy shop. You get 25 little cards and it is a true mystery as to what you get because the uh, the amounts can range from 1 to 50 or 50 through 100 if you're really brave. Um, but let's put those aside for now. And this one I am not starting until I complete the other one. Um, but I did want to get to my season scratch and saves. Um, this envelope just says splurge because I was running out of envelopes and I just needed a place to put these. So it looks like we have a $26 IOU in this one as well. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So we've got 25, 26. So 25, 26 going down in. And then I have been working my way through the spring scratch and save. But you know what, guys? I'm kind of really itching to scratch the summer and I already have one scratched off. So I think I'm gonna put spring back and we're gonna scratch one spot in the summer scratch and save because it is summer and I am feeling it. So let me set this one aside and then grab out my scratcher. And these are my season scratch and saves. These are available in my Etsy shop if you guys are interested and they do come in several different denominations to fit your budget. Um, but let's go ahead and pick one of these and scratch it. So why don't we scratch this one right here? Cute. We need to get our little kitty vacuum back out. All right. Kitty vacuum did its job. All right, so we got a cute little pair of sunglasses that say $18. So we will be doing 18. So we'll go 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 10, 15, 17, 18 into the summer scratch and save. Perfect, and I'll put this one in the front now, and I will put the money in the back, and then let's see what else we have. So we've got Mystery Scratch stickers, and that is it. So why don't we, why don't we move on? So I'm gonna put this binder away because I wanna get over to Paradise Island Savings since we have been working on that. So I'm trying really hard not to start anything new um, and just try to really focus on what we've already got going and try to complete some things. But I definitely want to get to this Paradise Island Savings, which comes from Tracy Monster here on YouTube. And she is Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy. So if you guys like this, she makes a lot of different scratch off board games, um, which are really fun. And so uh, with this one, I just roll one regular dice and I'm making my way up the board. I've already gone all the way down and I switched colors. So I know that I've, I ended there last. And so let's roll from here and see what we get. All right, so I got a six. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. And that puts me onto this $10, 
which was a scratch off that I already scratched. So I don't know if it's gonna let me color over this, but it looks like it will. Not on the actual part where the scratch off was, but at least in the corners. And I can tell that that box is done. So I don't wanna forget to put my $10 down and then let's roll again. Another six, so one, two, three, four. And what I did last time is I just bounced back and kept going down, so that's what I'm gonna do again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that puts me here onto this scratcher, and let's scratch this one. I should have just left the kitty right out. I'm just gonna put them right there. All right, so that is a five. So let's go ahead and give this a five. And then I don't color it in when I just scratch it off. So I'm gonna roll again and keep going back this way. So a five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And that gives us another five. I forgot to switch colors when I started going back down. So I need to grab a different color. All right, so I'm gonna do the blue twinkly one. So, oh wait, I need to put my five. Yes, I need to put my five down. Oh, I don't have a five. So I need to make change. So, so let's pull out this. This is my mini, mini savings challenge binder and I know there's small bills in here. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Um, I could take a 20, but I really just need like, uh, yeah, I guess let's do, let's do 20. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. So we'll go 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we'll put a 20 right into this one. So the turtle savings got condensed a little bit, which is nice. And that way I can put my $5. Perfect. And then I will roll one more time and switch colors to the blue since we're going back down the board. So I got one, two, which is 10. So I'm going to color here. And then hopefully next time I play, I will remember that I'm heading back down the board, but I think I will. So, all right, we'll drop our $10 there and then let's count this up and see how much we have put into Paradise Island Savings. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30. $30 going into Paradise Island Savings, 10, 20, 25, 30. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is, um, the next thing that I'm gonna do, guys, is my big black box. And I don't wanna put these twos in, so let's see if I can stick these into the paradise folder. So two, four, six, eight, 10, that's 10. And then I will pop a 10 over here. So two, four, six, eight, 10. And then, let's see, two, three, four, five. So we'll do a five there and put a five here. So we're taking a five and putting another five, two, three, four, five. And so then again, we should still have our $30 just in smaller bills. So we get 10, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 20, five, 27, eight, nine, 30. Perfect. I did it. It was weird, but I did it. So this is the binder for Paradise Island savings. And we're going to put the $30 down into Paradise Island. If you want, we can count it. Actually, you know what I should do? $30. I should count this and I should track it on the back. 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 44, huh? 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 44 plus 30. So let me just not count it all together and let me track on the back because I always forget to do that. And then I see Tracy tracking on the back of hers and I'm like, oh, I always forget to do that. All right, so in July, we put like this much. And then 
I'm gonna put August here and I'm gonna put round four, looks like I did $44. And then August again, round five, and I just put $30. So, and then th this money isn't still sitting in that folder because I used to use this to pay off my debt. So that money has been pulled, but altogether it'd be nice to see how much this um, board game has brought me. And so 92 plus 44 is 136. And if we add the 30, we get 166. So we've put $166 towards Paradise Island savings so far, which is really great. So then the last thing that I want to do is, is get out this box this piggy bank rather, and take a look at some of the things we have started and hopefully be able to put a little bit mo more money into this piggy bank and knock off some more savings challenges. All right, so I moved this around. I know it's kind of hard to see at this angle, um, but it's there and there's a little bit of a glare because I've got all these lights set up. Um, but I definitely want to complete this one since we've already started it um, and this money has gone into there. So I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 dollars to complete this one. And so let's start with that. So yes, we're doing 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So let's pull the 35, 20, 35, and then I will color all of these. And I will probably just cut to me coloring the very last one. Okay, so that is it. They are all colored in, which is amazing, which means we've got $20, $35 going into the piggy bank. So glad that I'm able to get to this um, and be able to complete another savings challenge. That means that's $100 completed that went into this piggy bank and that feels awesome. So I'll set that aside and then let's get this out and see what we have started. So it looks like we're still working on this honeycomb savings challenge. And then of course, we're still working on this penny savings challenge. This one's a big one. This one's $667.95. This is supposed to be like once a week for an entire year. Um, but I'm trying to get that one done. And then we've got a lot completed here. Um, so let's see. So why don't we start by counting what we have left? So we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 71, two. So we've got $72, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 71, two, 72. Which means we could theoretically start this one as well. Um, and then there's also this one, which you can allocate whatever you want to it. This one I know is 100 so maybe we'll just do like $70 in here and then we'll put the extra $2. Let me take a look at, let me take a look at this again. So let's set the money over here. Let's take a look at this and see what we could do for $72. 72 minus 2380 equals minus 2331 equals. And then I could do that one as well. See, it's just not as satisfying to only do three little pennies. Whereas if I do, if I start this one, I get to fill in a whole lot more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this aside. Actually, I'm going to do the $2 in that one. So we'll do the little honeycomb for $2 and then we'll do the $70 on Ira's little challenge. So we've got $2 and I'm going to fill in two honeycombs for a dollar a piece and I'm going to color in those. All right, so those two are colored in, and that is it for the Easy Mini Cash Budget Thousand or Less Savings Planner, Savings Challenge Planner, excuse me. 
That is linked in the description below, but it's not linked as that because that's too long. <laughs> I think I just called it Savings Planner, Savings Challenge Book maybe. Um, but it's one $2 going in to the that. <laughs> All right, $2 going in and that leaves us with, oh, let's see if we can push that in a little bit more. All right, that's it. So that should leave us with 70. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 70. So $70, which means if we start down here at the tens, we can do 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So we could go from here down basically. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And let me start with this one. And then again, I will cut to me completing the very last one. And then we will stuff this money into this piggy bank. Okay. I don't know if I cut you back to when I was doing this, but I had to turn it because I was struggling so hard with it up and down. And then I was like, oh, I can just turn it and make it a little bit more comfortable for me. But even still, that didn't help. Like, I have such a hard time staying in the lines. But you know what? It was really therapeutic. And I found myself, like, zoning right out. So I kind of do like coloring, even though I'm not good at it. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars. Oh, that's exciting. So 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's see if we can get them in like this. Yes, this will fit if I flatten it right down. Boom. All right. 65, 70. Perfect. So this feels good. Like I said, getting this big black piggy bank stuffed as much as I can. I'm going to try to pull this out with every savings challenge video that I do now and give it at least a little bit of love each time until this thing gets full, full, full. All right. So another one started and almost completed. We've got this one left. And then, of course, we've got a lot of challenges left in here. But we did a lot today. We got a lot accomplished and it was really fun. I love savings challenge videos. So that is going to be it for this video. But guys, if you are not subscribed already, make sure you're subscribed because I have a lot more videos like this and a lot of other fun videos coming up. And so you don't want to miss it. So that's going to be it for this one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.